for the greens, let's play. Let's go. Yes, go Tasked with the development of Celtic's under-18 team, Stuart McLaren brings a wealth of experience that he aims to pass on to the youngsters now in his charge. His decades of experience in playing and coaching gives him the skills required. Add to that a real desire to see the boys develop and excitement to be joining Celtic. Stuart has all the ingredients for success. Absolutely thrilled to be here. You know, the club, the stature of the club um, is obviously well known and that was a huge attraction. I uh, thoroughly enjoyed my time with the Scottish FA and a real honour to be a national team coach. But, but obviously that uh, intermittent activity um, is a challenge and, and obviously the chance to come in here and, and work with some of the best players, most uh, talented and, and uh, the players with great potential that we have here in Scotland um, and work with them on a regular basis and try and support them as they, they further their careers was uh, a lure too good to turn down. Stuart joins from the SFA where he was a youth coach and also spent some time as the women's national team manager. Before that, he was a manager of Stirling Albion, so he has real life experience across many different levels of the game but it's at the later development stage of a footballer's professional career where his focus now lies. Listen, it's, it's a case for me where, you know, as a coach, you know, you, there's different roles you can play depending upon, uh, you know, the, the area of the game that you focus is. Obviously, in a first-team level, it is wholly and solely about gaining results. Uh, for me, it does, um, you know, kind of float my boat, if you like, seeing... Uh, players further their careers and, and try and progress on to, to better things and, and all that encompasses obviously some of the players that we have here you hope will go on and, and do good things for the first team um, get to play in that magnificent stadium that we can see not far from here uh, and help the club achieve all its aims and ambitions in Champions League and winning trophies and whatnot. some you hope you can support them in their journey and, and go and have a career elsewhere in football and, and some unfortunately you know we know won't make it but we hope that their experience here within the academy at Celtic, you know, stands them in good stead, whatever path that the, the life takes them on. Having made the move as a youngster from Scotland to Australia and playing professionally in the A-League, Stuart crossed paths with the man now in charge of the first team here at Celtic. He obviously was well aware of, of Angie's time and a pass cross mainly when he became the head coach at Brisbane Roar. I had finished unfortunately playing there a few months before so I never got the, the joy of, of working under Angie as a player. Um, but reasonably close in the sense that I had already stepped into a player manager role with the team in the tier below. So, you know, I've been um, you know, watched with, uh, with good pride, you know, as, as a fellow Aussie in a sense. Uh, he's gone on to achieve the things that, that he's achieved and it's no surprise to me uh, that he started in the fashion that he has with the club uh, and I'm sure that, that everybody connected with Celtic uh, you know, is thrilled with the impact that he's made and we can all look forward to hopefully a, a period of success that, that Andrew will, um, will bring. Stuart's already up and running in his new role but will take charge in his first match with the under-18s away to Aberdeen this Friday.